Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, just going to go over more of my uh, Blu-ray collection today. Um, probably about a hundred titles again. So I'm going to go quick this time. If I've seen it, I'll give you my thoughts. So first up is the double feature of uh, The Addams Family and Addams Family Values, both classic films from my childhood. Glad to have it in the collection. Uh, up next is Aeon Flux. I got this at a Big Lots. Uh, I've, I saw it in the theaters when it came out, but I haven't seen it since. And that was back in 2005, so I'll have to give it a rewatch. Uh, this one I have not watched yet. This is a uh, an old Sid Haig uh, movie from uh, 1982, and that is The Aftermath. This was put out by VCI Entertainment. I think I bought this at an FYE a while back. So, never got around to watching it. Uh, <clears throat> so this one is supposed to be a region free uh, disc, but it doesn't work in my player for some reason. I'll try it again. But, uh, and that is, this is an Australian release, yeah. Of, uh, Among Friends uh, with uh, Danielle Harris I think right she's in this right uh, never, no I'm sorry not Danielle Harris uh, Kane Hodder AJ Bowden Jennifer Blank I'm sorry Blank not Blank Blank and yeah I heard it was decent. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Daniel Harris directed this. So, that's that's what I remember. Okay. So, yeah. I haven't worked, got around to watching that one. Uh, one of these, uh, I guess, classic 1950s movies called The Angry Red Planet. This is put out by Scream Factory. Uh, I got, like, a bunch of these because they were going out of print. I figured I'd pick them up before they would were gone, so can't wait to give that a watch. It's like it's like some sort of like vampire spider or something, but yeah, I like my creature features. Uh, we got Annihilation with Natalie Portman. I still haven't got around to watching this. I heard it was decent, so I don't know why the uh, I got it and the slipcover is all messed up, but that's all right. And then we got Anti-Birth, another Scream Factory, IFC Midnight Release, uh, starring Meg Tilly, Chloe, Chloe Savigny, Natasha Leon. So it's got a great cast, but I haven't got around to watching that either. Uh, we have The Arrival with Charlie Sheen from 1996. I think I caught this on TV once in the 90s but I don't remember it so I gotta go back and watch that again uh, as above so below this is another one of those uh, good uh, uh, found footage movies if you like that genre I know not everybody does but I enjoyed that one uh, we got the steelbook of assault on precinct 13 with John Carpenter Again, I've seen this one as well, but it's been years since I haven't seen it, so I figured I'd pick it up. It doesn't really have much going on inside, but it says, gotta smoke. Uh, we have Astro Zombies here, put up by Kino. Uh, I haven't watched this one yet either. Uh, John Carradine is in this, it is from 1971. Baby Blues, this is some sort of Asian horror film from 2013 about some sort of like doll. I don't know, it looked weird. So I picked it up. Uh, another, here's a cool French horror film that I have seen and I look forward to watching it again. And that is uh, Baby Blood, another Kino title. Uh, this is a really good like, weird 
Uh, I don't want to call it a creature feature, but it kind of is at some point. But uh, it is very weird. But I definitely recommend it if you like gore. It's in French, though, just so you guys know. Uh, uh, Baby Driver. I haven't watched this one yet, but I'm glad to have it in the collection. I love Edgar Wright films. And then you got John Berthold. John Bernthal, uh, Lily James, Kevin Spacey, so yeah. Uh, this movie is ridiculous, but I enjoyed it. Banana Splits movie. Uh, yeah, it's just over the top ridiculousness. And uh, animatronics trying to kill you. Uh, Classic 90s uh, comedy, Basketball on Blu-ray. Uh, Matt. Uh, thought this was. Yeah, Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Yeah, they, they both star in it. Uh, this was directed by David Zucker. So it's definitely a good comedy here. You got Robert Vaughn, Jenny McCarthy, uh, Ernest Borgnine. So a great cast. I have seen this, but it's probably been since it came out in the 90s. Uh, Battle Royale, classic Asian. Uh, I guess you could call it a horror film, but it's more of a, a thriller. I gotta go back and watch that again. Uh, I, I enjoyed this film quite a bit, Becky. Uh, Kevin James plays a uh, a villain in this, which is very strange for him, but I enjoyed it. Uh, Joel Joel McHale isn't in it for, for uh, Joel Joel McHale plays uh, her dad, so yeah, that was weird. Uh, Beverly Hills Cop Trilogy, classic. Love, love the Beverly Hills Cop Trilogy. They're all on their separate discs. Uh, one of my favorite uh, 70s um, horror uh, possession films, uh, Beyond the Door. I got the, uh, the Hard Case Arrow release of it with the the nice thick booklet inside. You know, like all digital stills. You get part of the pictures from the movie. Uh, essays. And a bunch of other things. Uh, it, it was kind of like a ripoff of The Exorcist a little bit, but there is a scene in here in, in a certain bedroom scene kind of gross but it's also kind of weird too because everything starts moving around and shit but yeah I recommend Beyond the Door if you've never seen it I highly recommend it the second one was okay in my opinion and I haven't got around to watching Amok Train which is the third one so I'll get around to watching that uh, Vestron release of Beyond Reanimator um, I haven't watched this one yet. I heard it's decent. Uh, I have met Jeffrey Combs before. He's a really interesting, interesting individual, but I enjoyed my meeting him. Uh, yeah. So there's that one. Uh, we got the Big Trouble in Little China, uh, Scream Factory, Collector's Edition. I love this movie. It's so cheesy, but so good. Uh, we got Birdman here. I haven't watched it yet. It's in the nice red case with the uh, the fold-out slipcover. And who doesn't like Michael Keaton? This one I have not watched yet, but it sounds gross to me. And that is a film called Bite. Uh, 2015. 89 minutes. Yep. If you guys don't like uh, bugs or insects, I don't recommend it. 
but I've never seen it, but it just looks gross to me. Uh, we got Blade Runner, the final cut here, combo pack. Now, I believe I do have the uh, five disc version somewhere in my collection, but I think it's in storage. But for right now, I have the, the, the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Uh, we got Bloody Birthday. Uh, I've seen this movie once, uh, but that was that was on a, a, a DVD that I had previously before this version, so I gotta go back and watch it in high def. So we'll see. A lot of people don't like that film a whole lot, but it is what it is. Uh, another keynote release here of Blown Away with Jeff Bridges, Tommy Lee Jones, Lloyd Bridges, uh, Forrest Whitaker. So you got a great, great cast here. Stephen Hopkins directed this. So yeah, there's, there's that. Uh, we got body parts here with uh, Jeff Fahey and Brad Dorff. So I haven't watched this one yet either, but it looks... I've heard great reviews on this one, so I can't wait to check that one out. Uh, I got a Code Red release here of a very weird film, but I, I watched this and I, I enjoyed it. The Boneyard. Yes, that is a poodle. A really demented, demonic poodle. <laughs> yeah, this was a this movie was definitely a trip. Uh, this is from 1989, 98 minutes. Don't rec uh, don't really remember night where I recognize anyone in the film though, but I I recommend it. I think it's on Tubi still. Uh, we have a 70s, I think this was a TV movie, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I haven't watched it, though. It's The Boy Who Cried Werewolf. Another Scream Factory release. It's kind of like a, yeah, it's definitely like a werewolf film, as you can see. The kid says he sees a werewolf and the challenge people don't believe him. So yeah, uh, I got this one at a Dollar Tree, like, years ago. I heard it was decent. Uh, Brave New Jersey, which is, pretty much takes place during the night of or Orson Welles' uh, legendary War of the Worlds ra radio broadcast, and everyone thought it was real. So you get to go through the whole, see how everyone reacted to that. I look forward to watching that. This is a Gravitas Ventures release. Uh, next up we have another film that I haven't gotten around to watching, but I hear it, heard it's fantastic, and that is uh, uh, Brawl in Cell Block 99. I heard it's pretty good. Vince Vaughn doing a really different role in this film. Uh, also starring Jennifer Carpenter, Udo Kier, Don Johnson, so it's got a great cast here. Uh, one of my favorite favorite films growing up, uh, Brewster's Millions with uh, Richard Pryor, John Candy. Uh, he has to spend so much money in a certain amount of time to get more money, but he can't tell anyone and he can't buy possessions, so he has to do other things with the money, so. Or also forfeit his whole entire inheritance. So I like this movie. Uh, Brightburn. I haven't watched it yet, but I heard it's pretty good. It's kind of like a dark version of Superman, from what I from what I understand. So uh, this one I got, I got a a Big Lots. I haven't watched this one yet though. It's called. Uh, it's called Brotherhood, and it, and this is, are you in or out? This kind of looks like a heist type movie or some sort of like, um, like trying to rob places or something. But it looked interesting to me, 
so I picked it up. It was like three dollars, I think. Uh, Severin's release of Burial Ground. Still haven't got around to watching this yet. This is a film from 1980. It's got a nice little slip cover on it. I think it's kind of a tight slip, yeah. But different artwork, so gotta love that. Uh, I can never say this title right. Byzantium. I think this is like a vampire type movie. Uh, put out by IFC Films. So, yeah, it's a vampire film. So, I gotta get around to watching this one. Uh, I thought it was in a different language, but it's in English. Um, another camp motion picture release of uh, Call, Call Girl of Cthulhu. Uh, this looks hella cheesy and kind of silly, but I heard it's... Some people really enjoyed this film, but I I love I'm just about anything Lovecraft, so I picked it up years ago. Uh, who knows? It could be garbage. Hot trash, if you will. Uh, we have the sequel to Candyman, which is Candyman Farewell to the Flesh. Uh, I have seen this, but it's been years, and I really only remember the first film, so I go back and watch this one. And, um, was it Days of the, Days of the Dead, I think that's what it's called, part three. But yeah, I gotta get around to watching those two again. Uh, Case 39, I still haven't watched this one yet either. I heard this was a really good, like, um, thriller. Yeah. Uh, we got the remake of Child's Play. It wasn't that bad. I, I enjoyed it for what it was, but you know, a lot of people hated it, but I got past the whole, I didn't compare it to the original. I just kind of watched it for its own. I, I thought it was all right. Uh, we got an Arrow release here of Chill Factor. Uh, this is a really good film. I, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, the Exorcist meets the Winter Apocalypse. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, so if you guys like uh, snowmobiling and people getting killed, I definitely watch. Definitely give that a watch. Uh, you have uh, Color Out of Space. This is a really good um, Lovecraft uh, story adaptation. With uh, Nicolas Cage, of course. Uh, Tommy Chong is in this as well. But yeah, and it's it's really it's really colorful. Like the whole, you get all the purple, the purple hues and everything. Uh, we haven't watched this one yet. It looked really weird when I picked it up. Uh, Elijah Wood and Come to Daddy. So I get around to watching that. Uh, uh, Blue Underground release of uh, Daughters of Darkness. Still haven't watched this one yet either. Got this for really cheap from what I remember. Yeah, I got this at uh, McKay's used for like under 10 bucks. Uh, I've seen this film before, but it's been quite a few quite a few years uh, I know I watched it because uh, Bill Mosley is in it and that is Dead Souls another Scream Factory release from 2012 I have to go back and watch this again because I don't really remember it uh, we have The Descent classic uh, early 2000s horror those uh those creatures that they find down there, oof, those things are creepy, creepy. Uh, we have Despicable Me, Steelbook. Uh, I thought that the first one was okay. Uh, I don't think I ever, I saw the second one, I don't think I ever watched the third. Definitely didn't watch Minions, so we have that. And then we have well, probably one of the worst 
possession movies of all time. Don't ask me why I have it. I think I bought it for like a dollar or something. Uh, the Devil Inside. This was a really shitty movie. <laughs> I've seen it like, I think twice, but I have it. Don't ask me why. Uh, we have uh, Digging Up the Marrow. This is a really good, uh, like, found footage style, documentary style movie uh, from Adam Green. Uh, starring Ray Wise. Uh, Kane Hodder is in here as well. And Adam Green is also in here. He plays himself. So, I, I enjoy that one. Uh, this one, next one here is from the late 90s. Uh, it's called The Disembodied. Uh, this is a very strange uh, film. Uh, it's about this girl who... Uh, she has a problem with, uh, with uh, spore generating deformity on her face, which causes difficulties in her day-to-day -day life. And such of a weird shit happens in the movie with that. So yeah, it's I I, I liked it. Uh, I don't, I'm sure some people would hate this movie, but uh, you can watch it in black and white, or you can watch it in color. I watched it in color, so yeah. It, this is a very, 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 very strange film. Uh, we have Disturbia. I mean, I liked it. I, I obviously I know it's it's kind of like uh, Rare Window, so. Uh, but you know, I I recommend it. I saw it in the theater. Uh, Dolly Dearest. Of course, I had to pick it up. I remember renting this from the the the, the video store way back in the day. I, I flip the flip the artwork around so you have both. Uh, I forget who's in here. Denise Crosby, Sam Buttons, Rip Torn, Ed Gale. I'm just gonna grab a few out of here. Uh, we have uh, Dan Curtis's Dracula. I got this at a Dollar Tree a while back. Uh, still haven't watched that though. You got Jack Palance, Sam, Simon Ward, uh, Murray Brown, Fiona Lewis. So classic, classic lineups here. What year is this from? Uh, does not say on the back. Just a re-release date. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know when it came out. Uh, another Dollar Tree title here with Jesse Bradford. That is The Echo. So I haven't watched this one yet. Uh, Edge of the Axe with the now out of print slipcover. Uh, this film was uh, not exactly what I thought it was going to be when I when I watched it the first time. But uh, I enjoyed it for what it was. But I really do like that slip cover. Excuse me. Except for when it doesn't go, when I go back in. There you go. Uh, we have Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, with the nice slip cover. I didn't, I didn't flip it around. I should flip the artwork around, but there is, there is reversible artwork in here, but it's just the white. It's just like the original artwork for the, the DVD back in the day. Classic movie though. Uh, this one I haven't watched yet, but this one intrigued me, and that is uh, Encounter with Luke, Luke Hemsworth. Uh, this one also stars Tom Atkins. So that's another selling point, reason why I picked it up. 
but I also enjoy my Alien films. Uh, next up is a double feature. Uh, I only got it for Equilibrium, but we also have um, Renaissance. Uh, Renaissance Paris 2054 with Daniel Craig. But Equilibrium has Christian Bale and Tay Diggs. Uh, I think this is a Canadian release. Yeah, this is a Canadian release because it's got a, uh, it's got French on the back too. Yeah, they're both on one disc. So, my next. Next we have The Evictors, I uh, still haven't watched this one either, this is from 1979, uh, starring uh, Vic Marrow, Michael Parks, Jessica Harper, and Sue Ann Lang Langdon. Yeah, this is about a, uh, I think this is about a haunted house, I believe. Uh, another Dollar Tree title here, Evidence. With Stephen Moyer, uh, put up by RLJE Entertainment. Uh, we have the 25th anniversary edition of Evil Tunes. This was put up by Make Flix Retro Media. Yep. Uh, I have seen this, but it's been a long time. It's basically Roger Rabbit meets uh, the Evil Dead, so take it or leave it. Uh, starring David Carradine, Dick Miller, Michelle Bauer, Art Johnson, and Monique Gabrielle. So I got a good cast there. Uh, I've seen the first film of this, but I haven't seen the second one. This is Exterminator 2. I've seen the first one. That one was cheesy as hell, but I loved it. So I had to get the second one. Uh, basically, the guy comes back in this one. Uh, he is a torch-wielding outlaw vigilante, so if you like in vigilante films, I recommend the first one. Uh, I heard the second one was pretty good, too. This one has Mario Van Peebles, uh, Frankie Faison, and Deborah Geffner. And this is from uh, 1984. Uh, everyone's favorite... Um, sci-fi horror faculty love the faculty uh, I know everyone that has seen this that I know of hated this film I thought it was okay uh, Fantasy Island Bloomhouse I know a lot of people hate Bloomhouse I understand I do understand uh, next up is a uh, I think it's a war drama Starring Robert Shaw and Malcolm McDowell, and that is uh, Figures in a Landscape. Uh, this is a Kino title that I found at uh, my my local bookstore, McKay's, for relatively cheap. Uh, so yeah, I haven't watched that one yet. Um, picked this up a while back, uh, Takashi Miike's First Love. Uh, I watched the trailer for this and it looked pretty good, so I picked this up. But still haven't gotten around to watching it yet. Uh, we have another old school Scream Factory of uh, the Four Skulls of Jonathan Drake. This is from 1959. It's only 70 minutes running time. Uh... I guess this, it's about this guy who was a custodian. Uh, he keeps skulls crisp and fresh. I don't exactly understand that, but okay. Uh, this is a black and white film. Uh, some people hated the first one. I thought the first one was okay. This one was just okay in my opinion as well. That is The Gallows Part 2, or Act 2, I'm sorry, Act 2. Uh, basically takes place right where the first one left off. Uh, so yeah, it's it, it is what it is, guys. I I picked it up. 
because I was interested. Uh, this is a really good one, uh, The Good Son. Definitely recommend it if you like killer kid movies. Uh, Macaulay Culkin plays a really good sadistic kid in this movie. And uh, was it Elijah Wood. Yeah, Elijah Wood plays his uh, stepbrother. Uh, David Morse is also in this. Uh, we got Guns Akimbo, so I haven't watched this one. I heard it was decent. And then we have the 4K Blu-ray Kino release of Hannibal. Uh, I have seen Hannibal, but it's been a number of years since, so I'll have to go back and watch that again. Uh, we have the house that Jack built. I still haven't watched this one yet. I heard it's pretty gruesome. Kind of hard to watch at times. have How to Train Your Dragon. I've seen bits and pieces over the years. Uh, we have Hype. This is a really good music uh, documentary about the uh, 90s underground music scene of the grunge era. So definitely recommend that one. Uh, we have a, another Scream Factory release from 1958 and that is I Bury the Living with Richard Boone. We have classic Idle Hands. Love Idle Hands. It's one of my top stoner horror comedies of the 90s. Uh, we have Into the Night with Jeff Goldblum and Michelle Pfeiffer, directed by John Landis. Classic. Uh, we have Kong Skull Island, which I have seen here and there over the years. Let's Scare Jessica to Death. This was an interesting horror film from the early 70s. It's not for everybody, but I, I enjoyed The acting is probably the best part of the movie. Um, and especially when she like freaks the fuck out all the time. It's just like it's, you believe it's actually happening. So definitely recommend that one. Uh, this is probably one of my all time favorite films ever. And I've only seen it like once, maybe twice. No, I think I've seen it twice. Uh, starring a very young Jodie Foster, Martin Sheen, Alex, Alexis Smith, Scott Jacoby. This is from 1976. There is a little film called um, The Little Girl Who Lives Down the Lane. This is a very haunting, chilling cult classic for sure. If you guys never seen this, I highly, I give you a top recommendation for this one. Uh, a lot of people hated this film and I can understand why. I thought it was, I gotta go back and watch it again. I've only watched it once. Um, the Lodge. And with um, uh, Jaden Martell. Riley, I can't say her name, P.O. And uh, very small role for Alicia Silverstone in this. Let's just say it starts off like with a real what the F type movement and then it goes, gets weird from there. All right, next is uh, Clive Barker's Lord of Illusions. Still haven't watched this one, but I know it was going out of print from my, what I remember, so I had to snag it. Uh, we have Love and Monsters. Still haven't watched that one yet either. Well, I've never seen it. Uh, we got The Man from Planet X from 1951. This is out of print now, I believe. We got The Manitou with uh, Tony Curtis. Burgess Meredith, Susan Strasberg, and Michael and Sarah. Great, great cast there. Just the last little bit here, and then we'll be all done there. 
Uh, we have an MVD Rewind collection release of uh, Mind Games. I heard this was a really good uh, thriller with uh, Maxwell Caulfield, Edward Albert, and Sean Brotherly. We have a Monster Calls. I heard this was a decent uh, fantasy type movie with uh, Liam Neeson, Sigourney Weaver, Felicity Jones. Uh, who else is in here? Yeah, that's, I haven't watched that one yet either. Uh, Toby Hooper's Mortuary from MVD. Uh, I have seen parts of this film, but never all the way through, so I gotta go back and watch it again. Here's, here's, a, here's a good uh, double feature. And you got Munster Go Home with uh, Munster's Revenge, which is a bonus film on here. Uh, you know, your classic Munsters. Gotta love, I love the Munsters. One of my favorite TV shows. Uh, I haven't watched this one yet, and I heard it's very controversial because there's so many, like, rape scenes in this film, and I'm not looking forward to it, and that is The Nightingale. Uh... This is uh, from the from Jennifer Kent, who did the Babadook. Yeah, that damn kid in the Babadook. Ooh, that was enough. I uh, got the One Missed Call trilogy here. Uh, three films by three different directors: Takashi Miike, uh, Ren Renpai, Sukamoto, and Manubu. Aso, that's how you say that. I don't, I don't know how to say these guys. I know Takis, Takashi Miike, but the other two, I don't know if I pronounce their names. I think I got this at a big lots, and that is uh, Panic in the Streets from 1950, uh, starring uh, Richard Wid Widmark, Paul Douglas, and uh, Barbara Bell. Uh, Jeds, Geds, G E D D E S. I don't know how to say that her last name. Uh, I heard this film was pretty decent. Uh, uh, Paradise Hills with uh, Emma Roberts, Aquafina, Mila Jovovich. So I don't know. I heard it was a, a weird type, like. Um, I heard this was just, I don't know what kind of film this is, but I heard it was very strange. Uh, we got Parasite. I love this movie. It was definitely, it's definitely worth all the hype that I heard about it. So, I highly recommend that one. If you guys like uh, alien films, uh, I, I recommend Phoenix Forgotten. Uh, uh, some people didn't, some people just don't like like found footage type style style films, but I like that one. Uh, I got the Police Squad complete series here with Leslie Nielsen. This is from 1982. Uh, brought, um, brought to you by the Zucker Brothers. So of course, this was right before um, Naked Gun series. Uh, we have from Inner Vision, we have Queen of Blood. I have not watched this one yet. This is from 2014, but it looks like it's from the 70s. That's what it's supposed to look like anyway. Uh, Radio Flash, I bought this a while back. I thought it was just okay. Um, nothing, nothing to write home about, so nothing I would totally recommend. And then last but not least, we have Ready or Not, which I absolutely love this film. I love Samara Weaving. I think she's a great actress. So, that is everything I have for you guys for this video, but stay tuned. I will be putting up a uh, pickup video here pretty soon and more movie reviews. So take care. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll just catch you guys later. Bye.